Um, my impressions so far have been like way beyond my expectations. Start day one yesterday. Head over to the Kohler Trails. We started at, up at the very top of Kohler at the hub and we started on the cease and desist trail and it, it was super fun, like some smaller tabletops leading into some a little bit bigger ones. Um, and then you start hitting some wood features, a little wood drop into this super cool 270 degree turn that kind of led you back uphill, just a slight little uphill, and then to drop the hammer, which was a really cool like 10 foot drop, um, maybe a little bit intimidating looking, but built perfect and just like flowed perfect down into uh, a nice big step up to 180 degree turn, uh, another little step down, down into, it was basically like a big natural half pipe ravine. And you just flow all the way down this hill, all the way to the bottom, just jump after jump after berm after berm. I, did, I, did, I really didn't know what to expect. Obviously, I had heard, you know, what was going on with, with the town. Obviously, a lot of trail building, a lot of, uh, you know, work and effort being put into it. Diversity of trails is is huge. The Oz Trail Crew, Benville, Rogers, you guys have this real cool just diversification of all different kinds of mountain bike trails. If you want something flowy with some big jumps and some drops, you have it. If you want something with some flowy medium-sized jumps, you, you have it. If you want to just get into the backwoods and have more natural terrain, you have it. I mean, pretty rad. What struck me about the quality was when you ride a trail for the first time, you know if it works good or not. When it works good, everything just flows nicely, right? If you've ever built a trail, you know how much work goes into building one jump or one berm. So to see that many jumps and that many berms um, of that magnitude, you know a lot of work went into it. And then to take it to another level, the rock work uh, is like, you know, a full next level. The metal work that's being done with some of these bridges and little, you know, kind of climb up to roll down some, some cool, very unique features.
whether you have a day or a weekend or a week, you're gonna be able to explore and have a lot of fun. If you're like my friend who's a doctor and is married and his wife has nothing to do with, with bikes, he can go for a two, three, four hour ride while she's downtown, has lunch, you know, maybe goes and visits the museum. Um, he comes back from his ride, you know, and they spend the rest of the day together. It's definitely like no place I've, I've actually ever been, and I've been quite a few places in this world to ride my bicycle. And that feeling, that small town feel, but with really good food, amazing art scene, and an amazing trail scene, and an amazing sense of hospitality and just friendliness in this town. Everything that we, we saw, rode, blew my mind.